Klang from Wien has been founded by Beat Fuller, composer, conductor, and first artistic director of this ensemble 36 years ago. Klang from is a collective uh, where all soloists coming to be together, and there we are calling ourselves an ensemble of soloists. We designed Prague Offspring so we can create links between Czech contemporary music scene and international one in general, and links between Prague Spring and Klang Forum Wien in particular. What can we expect from you? Coming to Prague for us it's very important because we come with a spirit of wanting to discover something. I find it particularly important that it's not only a link between different music scenes of contemporary music, but also the fact that uh, Prague of Spring is implemented in the Prague Festival the so-called established festival, we have the possibility to reach a new audience. Part of our program is also called Reading Lessons, which is basically a rehearsal with student composers who wrote new pieces for you. How do you approach that? Prague of Spring is offering us the opportunity to not only present concerts as something, a closed package, no? but we are on different layers and having these reading lessons where we are going to meet young composers, where we are going to read in that moment new scores. Uh, first of all, it's a huge kind of freshness that we uh, can offer to the audience, but it's also a kind of a learning lesson for ourselves to discover new languages of the next generation. It's not only presenting something where somebody is buying a ticket and then there's the applause at the end, but really we are opening it as a kitchen and everybody can look into the kitchen how new music comes on his way. This year, Prague of Spring composer in residence will be Olga Neuwirth. She's obviously very important for Klang Forum Wien. Olga Neuwirth, without any doubt, is a key composer over the last even 30 years. And she was key also to the ensemble because her musical language and her musical development had a huge impact on the style of interpretation of the style of playing music, of also the, uh, this kind of ambition of every single member of the ensemble to discover new territories on your own instrument. Part of the program is also music by Clara Janotta, Italian composer you work with regularly. She is already a strong voice in Italy, Middle Europe. And I think it's very important in a project like this, like yours, where we have the Olga Neuwirth as the real master composer and all these young generations to have also another, in this case, female voice in the whole picture. So she is really a next generation with a lot of power and with a lot of determination. There will be also a new piece by Martin Smolka Prague Spring has commissioned. Personally, I like his music and his also his very particular uh, position very much. Klang Forum has a bit of different DNA and I'm more than happy that our dramaturgy and our ensemble is now willing also to open the door a bit wider and this gives us the opportunity really to leave a bit this radical position of only one understanding of a DNA and to open it a bit more. The ensemble is holding actually a position of a professor, of a chair at the, it's a Hochschule für Musik in Graz. At the University of Graz, Cook, it's the name, short name of it. We are holding this position as a professor, the entire ensemble, so 22 people holding one professor position. And it's so important for us because it's not only we producing and uh, being an interpreter of new music, but also mediating this to the next generation. You are a principal guest conductor of Klang Forum Wien since 2018-19 season. What would you say sets Klang Forum apart from other ensembles? I think they have an incredible uh, sensitivity for sound, 
so it's it's very uh, in German you, you say gepflegt. It's very well treated. I mean, it's very they're very uh, they're very aware of the beauty of the sound. So they're always looking for. Uh, this incredible sensitivity in in what they do. I think that is one of the things that they are really uh, specialized in. As a conductor, you work both with regular symphony orchestras and specialized ensembles for contemporary music, such as Klangforum Wien. What would you say is the biggest difference? I mean, an orchestra is a complete different animal. There is much more hierarchy inside you know, how, how they function. So with Clang Forum or with, with another smaller ensemble, uh, you can always work, you know, as a musician under musicians and you can ask them, maybe we can try this or maybe we can try this. You get also a lot of initiative from the ensembles, you know, the way they would like to play it. And in an orchestra, uh, because, you know, we, first of all, you have 12 first violinists to start with. So you cannot, you cannot start like, maybe we can do something. If you say maybe to an orchestra, they go like, yeah, you know, I mean, what maybe? You know, <laughs> you want this or you want this? And with Clang From, you can, you can definitely say maybe and you can try out. And so this is, I find this always very inspiring because you get a lot also from, from the ensembles. Bernard Heiting, the fabulous, great conductor, one of the greatest we had, he said it's a difference because he worked also with the Chamber Orchestra of Europe and he said it's the difference between between riding a very small boat where you can also move very quickly and you know they go with you or or you're on an ocean you know boat and you have to before you make the corner like kilometers before you have to start steering. In Prague you'll be conducting six world premieres a big piece by Martin Smolka and five smaller ones. I suppose that's something you do quite regularly, playing new music. If you look at the score, I always think it's um, it's sort of treasure hunting. Yeah, you you have you have this map, and you know that somewhere is something hidden, and you have to find it. Yeah, it's, it's the same game as you do when you're a, when you're a child, and you have to figure out, you know, all these things. You know, what does it mean? What does this mean? What kind of language is it? What kind of you know? And this whole process. You start it on your own in, in your house and maybe I can find recordings of other pieces of the same composer. Very often I contact them also directly. I mean, you know, we have the luck that you can do this. I, I would like to write Beethoven also sometimes like, listen, dude, how are we supposed to play this? And you can't. We are actually establishing, you know, how those pieces are, are going to be played for the first time. Thank <laughs> you.